Pure Trex and an Ipsy to show you guys today. I apologize because I know I haven't been on here in about a week. I've been moving, it's been stressful, I've been getting a lot of like acne from stress too, so please don't mind my face. But I did already open these and I've already had like my first impression, but I can at least give you my thoughts on it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you Birchbox first. Also this may be one of the last videos we have in this location because hopefully we'll move our furniture in. Right now we're still painting in the new house, but I'm hoping to get moved in there by like next week. The first thing I got is this shampoo and conditioner, little deluxe sizes by Bain de Ter. I'm sure that's not how you say it. I just got a conditioner and a shampoo, and it's macadamia oil. They're also supposed to be paraben-free, so healthier for your hair. They don't have too much of a scent, at least not like a really nice one, but it's not bad. So I got that, and then I got this Karuna Clarifying Treatment Mask, Calming and Clarity. Just a face mask, and it kind of feels like it's on pads. So it is on pads, and I'm going to be honest, not a huge fan of getting facial stuff in my boxes. Then I got this little sack full of, I think it's just a chapstick in here, and then a dollar off coupon. So this is what they call a birch box find, that's just an additional item in your birch box. It doesn't count as part of the up to five or four to five samples. Just have this chapstick here, and you guys know I love chapstick, and this is supposed to be an eight hour moisture chapstick. It's just clear. I'm not going to put it on my actual lips because I do have lip gloss on there. But I can already tell this is going to be really nice. Did you take my spot? Just you took my spot. So I'm kind of like on the edge of the bed now. But I am really excited about this. Normally I just use the red ones. But vanilla sounds amazing. And then the very last thing I got, which I am really excited for. And I have not actually tried this yet. I should have though. Since I did open this ahead of time. I don't know why I didn't use it. I think I forgot I got it. But I did get a little sample of the Fake Up Faith Benefit. In the color um, 01 light. Look how pretty that packaging is. And this is what it looks like. It's very glossy. I don't know if I'm going to like that, but I blend it out. I think it's going to match my skin tone really well. I'm really excited to try it. Hopefully I love it and then it will be in an upcoming favorites video. So on to Ipsy. Ipsy's bag was this little white one that says, Love of beauty is taste. The creation of beauty is art. Not a huge fan of the bag. White just gets dirty extremely easily. And it was packed full of stuff, which is always nice. The first thing was this Zoya nail polish. Now I am a sucker for Zoya. I love it. It is amazing, and they give us a very nice fall color. I already wore this, and it looked really nice, and there's glitter in it, too. There she is. Just metallic -y. It's like a red plum. Shines red in both purple. It's really nice. And it's in the color Mason. And then we got a Style Sexy Hair Spray Clay, and I'm thinking about giving this to Sam to let him see how he likes it. I've never had a spray clay before but it's texturizing spray and it's more manly I feel like. It's a decent size to get in the bag. Definitely deluxe. And then I got this H2O Plus Face Oasis Hydrating Treatment and it's just in this little baby bottle. I guess I shouldn't call this a little baby bottle because we've definitely had babier samples. Or smaller I should say. It's blue. Mmm, smells citrusy too. It actually smells good. I'm excited to try this. And then we have this Ofra Lip Gloss Plumper and Sultry. Now this is the one thing that I don't think I'm going to end up using. And I'll probably just give this away because one, I don't really like plumpers. I think my lips are already full enough and they just tend to sting. And the color just isn't that nice on me. I don't know, it's a nice fall color. I see where they were going with this. Kind of a similar color to the nail polish we got. I'm thinking the color sultry. Maybe that's why that's on there. And then the last thing is by Nourish Organic. It's Coconut and Argon Body Lotion. And the packaging is adorable. It smells extremely good. Oh my goodness. And it doesn't feel oily left over. It smells very, like, fresh and not, like, clean, but it's, like, sweet. Almost, like, baked goods. And you know I love baked goods. Coconut isn't really what I'm smelling. 
but it's awesome. This is what the bottle looks up close. And I think this might be something I actually repurchase. I do not repurchase a lot of things like in my birch box or Ipsy's, but this may be one of them depending on the price. So that was all for Ipsy. Let's go ahead and do the birch box versus Ipsy now. Because that's what this video is about. I'm going to match them as closely as I can to each other, but they gave pretty different things. So it's going to be hard to do. Birch box versus Ipsy. Ipsy 100% one. Oh, I also saw this is available exclusively at Target, so it's probably not too expensive it's there. I am even more excited. Ipsy definitely won on this one. Wasn't a huge fan. Definitely a huge fan of this, though. Birchbox versus Ipsy on the lip products. Definitely Birchbox. Chapstick is really inexpensive. Uh, this probably is definitely worth more, but I'm going to get way more use out of this, and I'm not even going to use this, so definitely Birchbox on this one. Okay, Birchbox versus Ipsy. This one's harder because... I got the set in Birchbox, which is really nice, but I like this brand. I don't know this one, so it's hard. But I think Sam is really going to like this, and it's a really good size, even though this is too. But I'm going to go ahead and say the Ipsy one on this one. And then Birchbox versus Ipsy with these. Now, granted, this is not a hair product, and this is, so it's hard to compare them. I am a little more excited for the blue goo. <laughs> than for the whatever this is, shampoo or conditioner. So Ipsy one again on this part. And then Zoya versus to the fake up. This is with the hardest one I think that it's gonna be because I really love Zoya and I really love Benefit and I don't know which one I wanna pick. This is full size, this is not full size. But I think because I was so excited about trying this finally that I'm gonna go with the fake up over Zoya, even though that was a really tough decision. So Birchbox won on that one. Ipsy won on this once again. I will be impressed to see if Birchbox ever wins over Ipsy because Ipsy does such a great job. And I know every time I do this video, even though I think I've only done it twice now, I always say how much I love Ipsy, but I, I love both of them. Ipsy just gives you more for your money, I feel like. So with that, I will leave you guys here and hopefully I can upload a video really soon because I feel like such a slacker only uploading once this week. I'm gonna fix that. Just moving so stressful. Enough rambling though. I will just see you guys in another video. Bye.